Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Conference, conference, unmuted. Muted. <laughs> this ain't funny. Conference, muted. Conference recording started. <laughs> Wanna thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the early when I see these group studying prayer line on his twelfth day in August twenty nineteen. Uh, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let, let's go to let's go to uh, Yakanan thirteen on this morning. Uh, and thirty four. <laughs> Look, look, look what it say. It says, a new commandment I, I a, a, a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one to another. Aaron, Mr. Taylor, good to see you all, sir. This is Jones in the building. Um, a, a new commandment. Let me. I said I, I. I give on to you. Now, um. That's kind of deep, right? Because it lightweight sounds like a, a, a old commandment, don't it? L loving one another doesn't sound too new, does it? <clears throat> but he deemed it to be a, a new commandment. They were they were they were they were at supper, and um, somebody that he loved just turned on him. Uh, he said, "You know who, who he sop with? You know, sop some bread and and give it to, or sop with him." Excuse me, y'all. And they would eat it. He would eat it. Sopped. The same person who he sopped with would, would, would turn on him. Sell him out. To have him murdered. His friend wanted him dead. After Judas has left, He told his disciple, his disciples, a new commandment I, I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. So it sounds like he was like up in the ante for them to understand the level of love that is the requirement. I think the, the, the level of love. The level, right? P Peter Kiefer was dealing with the Mashiach. And it was, you know, based on like, the level of love, a.k.a. forgiveness. Did y'all know that forgiveness is a part of love? Did y'all know that? You, 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 it, you, you, gotta, you gotta have forgiveness in order to love. And you can measure a love by 
forgiveness. See, we can, we can measure the Most High's love towards us based on the level of forgiveness he gave us, what he was, what he was willing to endure in the relationship. There's a certain level of endurance expected in a relationship if it's a love relationship. If it's a love relationship, then there's the expectation of endurance. A mother's love has a level of endurance based on patience and forgiveness. You have need of patience if you're dealing with things you got to forgive. <laughs> A new commandment I give unto you. That, that, you, that you love one another. That, that you love one another as I have loved you. How patient is that? <laughs> How much, how much forgiveness and endurance is that? He just got turned on. It was the perfect opportunity for him to preach revenge. <laughs> the wrath of the Most High. There's a snake in the grass, should have been the title of his next sermon. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was to... Reveal true love. That's the perfect, perfect opportunity to call him a snake before he walked out the door. He just said, "Go do what you do and do it quickly." A new commandment I give on to you that you love one another. That sounds normal to me. To to love the Most High. With all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. But he went the extra mile to say, as I have loved you, I've given you an example. And you might not understand now, because they didn't know what was going on. But you're going to understand later the level of love that I have. See, it's not his will that any should perish, but that, that all uh, come on to repentance. And how, how one can position himself. To assure that others don't perish is don't be a part of their perishing. Don't 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 take the devil's job. See, the devil's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But the Mashiach job was that you might have life and have it more abundantly. It's the devil's job to to mark people as the devil. It's his job. Our job is to to love one another. Our job will position us to be able to run to someone like David. Daoud, he took that man's wife and had him killed. He was so wrong. And had the religious state of mind person been around, they would have marked him as the devil. What he did was devilish as heck. Incredibly wrong. But that wasn't the end of his story. And if you run across some, some, some of these religious folks, that would have been the end of his story to them. They would have marked him. No one had nothing to do with him. Wouldn't speak with him. Ain't going to talk to him. Praying. Uh, they going to start feeling they spiritually better. Yeah, just all kind of weird stuff that religious people do. A new commandment I give, I give on to you that that you love one another as measuring stick expectation as I have loved you <laughs> that you also love one another the, the same type of love that I gave the selfless love the patient love the endurance love the not rendering evil for evil <laughs> You don't like me, I don't like you. Oh, you ain't got to speak to me. Because yeah, I definitely ain't going to speak to you. The measure, the measure, the measure. 35th verse say. By this shall all men know that you're my disciples. If you love one another. 
Now that is sobering. By what? You can tell someone that's following the most high by how they love one another. You can tell. You can marvel because, because, like I said, you, you don't need a flashlight in the daytime because the day is light. When you need a flashlight, it's at nighttime when it's dark. And darkness uh, is parallel to dark actions. Like when someone rub you the wrong way or do something wrong to you. It's dark. Click. You got on the flashlight. And when you see somebody with a flashlight in the darkness, that's the way to go. You can see the light in the dark. Now you can travel and go. You can tell that they belong to the most high. When they're not governed by their emotions, nor will they turn their emotions into the ruach claim how they feel is the Ruah. The word reveals his disciples. The truth of his word reveals who belong to the most high. And it's the ability not to verbally say stuff, but to do it. By this shall all men know there will be no doubt in nobody's mind that you belong to Yah when you can walk in love even when it's dark. I'm saying when it's dark, they can see your light. Say, so let, let your light so shine that men may see. See, when folks see your good works, they'll magnify your father, which is in heaven, which proves you're his disciple. Look, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If, because if you don't have it, then what that's saying is you're not following him. Disciples mean you're a follower of. By this, he's pinpointing. He's pinpointing the 34th verse or what the 34th verse disclosed, which is the new commandment. And the new commandment is the level of love. And the level of love was exemplified by him when one of his right-hand men stabbed him in the back. And he showed so much love that the people around didn't even know he did it. They start saying, is it me? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it I? Did I betray you? Am I going to betray you? That's how much love he had. That's how, how much equality he had. He didn't have no partiality. A new commandment. I give on to you. That you love one another. Not just love. As I have loved you. <clears throat> He didn't turn the rest of the disciples on Judas. He wasn't talking behind Judas' back. Because had he been doing that, they would have they would have known it was him. They didn't even know. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as measuring stick. Expectation. The quality of love. Was just exposed right there. Same level. We, we have to learn as believers to stop scooting away from the expectation. We got to learn to stop putting the expectation on the Messiah. And then we scoot away. That's not me. I can't do that. That's him. We need to stop doing that. Even the Mashiach himself said, you'll do what I'm doing and greater. These works that I'm doing, you'll be able to do and more. So we got to learn how to embrace the expectation. What is the most high requiring of us? That's to love one another. And then he he gave the, uh, the measure. M the measure. As I have loved you. That you also love one another. As I have loved you. I walked in selflessness. 
around you. I fed you. I, I loved on you. I corrected you in the spirit of love when you were wrong. I fellowship with you. Hmm. Had dinner with you. I had dinner with Judas. <laughs> Dip biscuits with him before he went and did what he did. Literally, not even hypothetically speaking, literally. And after he left, I told you to love one another on the level that I loved y'all, including Judas. And by this, by this standard, by this shall men know that you are my disciples when you can walk in a, a level of selflessness that is not your will, and we know Yah's will, but it's not your will that any should perish. Because when you don't love, you're telling them perish. When you don't love, you wrote them off. The, the Mashiach died for them, you wrote them off. How could you be following him? And he died that they might live, but you wrote them off because y'all can't get along. You don't like them. Or they don't like you. Or y'all don't like each other. So ain't no disciple in that at all. Just folks don't don't know y'all like they should. Don't don't not follow the Mashiach like they should. By this shall you know. Um, <clears throat> revelation is for some folk to be so deceived. I'm trying to give y'all the revelation. I want y'all to hear this. Some people live like the devil. I'm just being honest. Simultaneously claiming a beautiful relationship with the creator that has a lot to do with self-deception and false doctrine, right? When you raised on doctrines that we're such sinners and when you live filthy, you look at yourself as a child of Yah and you ignore your filth and your daily behavior that goes directly against the most high. People just have amnesia when they come to themselves. So they live absolutely filthy, but if you talk to them, they tell you how much they love God and how he's blessing them, right? And how close they are and what a prophet or a prophetess they are, right? Okay. So if you get a revelation out of that, the revelation out of that would be if they believe that y'all love them to the level that no matter how much they go against him, he still loves them and they still go into heaven, then 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 they should be able to give that to other people. And that's the truth. If I believe that if I'm going around here sinning and going against the most high, but yet he still loves me enough to let me in heaven, then why can't I have that for somebody else that sins against me? Why can't we still claim the love relationship they sin it against me. I should still want them to go to heaven. I should still be loving on them like I'm the most high, right? If we use that type of, <laughs> it is kind of like foolish. The, the truth of the matter is we should walk in self-denial because he loved us so much. That's really the true revelation, right? It's by his goodness that leads a man to repentance is what the scripture said. And repentance means to stop and turn around. So he's so good to me. Like say, say if I was living like a straight up sinner. Because I have before since I've, I've known him. Period. I have before. I have like was sitting straight up. And it's by his goodness when when he when when you get revelation of who he is and how much he loves us you say what am i doing let me stop trying to lean on false doctrine on what the snake told eve you should not surely die let me get off that and start learning to love him back 
and then it just causes you to continue to grow in him. I'm just... I'm, I'm, to, 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 to love. Okay, so if a person believes that he loves them while they're just going against him, because he loves everybody, but I'm talking about love them to the point that they're going to heaven, that they're going to go live with him in eternity, that they're going to the new Jerusalem. If, if, if you believe that, then you should be one that love folk that go against you on the same level and believe that that they're still lovable and that he still loves them too and they get to go to uh, to the new Jerusalem to new he to heaven with the, him as well so we need to be loving them we we got to learn how to love one another because that is the fingerprint of a of a follower of the of the most high say so how can you say you love him who you have not seen when you hate your brother who you see daily. He said, no, it don't work like that. You, 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 you can't love him. You don't even, he, he never walked up to you and hung with you. But he has hung with you through his children. And his children give you opportunity to love, even when it's dark. Folks, rub each other the wrong way. But but when you love, you, you show your own salvation with what measure you meet, it shall be measured to you again. You set a standard in your own psyche too. I'm telling you the truth. You set a standard of giving the most high the measurement of how he can love you. Because if you notice, he said, if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you yours. If you don't forgive, then y'all ain't forgiving you. Folks, forget that. But if you don't forgive, then the most high ain't going to forgive you. When you do forgive, to what measure you measure, it shall be measured to you again. In other words, they were so awful that you rubbed you the wrong way so bad, but you loved them in spite of giving the measurement for the most high to, 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 to do that to you. It clears our own conscience towards the most high when we're able to endure other people and love them. Then our expectation or revelation towards the most high is we allow him to love us as well. Look, there's a lot of people that the Most High will forgive if they learn to forgive themselves. And the reason why they can't forgive themselves is because they don't forgive others. If they were able to forgive others, then they would get the revelation that the Most High can forgive them. People that hold grudges, it's hard for them to forgive themselves when they make mistakes. Even against the Most High. Because they don't have forgiveness, so they don't know how to receive forgiveness. <laughs> he said, a new commandment I give you, that you love one another. Okay, folks would say, okay, yeah, I get that part. As I have loved you. Now, that's when folks can scratch their head. Yep, on the same level. What manner of love is this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brother. Lay your life down means that you're gonna you gonna you willing to die out that somebody else might live. That you will not deal with a David. I, look, look, David belonged to the Most High, and David took one of his soldiers' wives. He was so wrong for that. Not only was he sleeping with her, he got her pregnant. Then he had the man killed because he wanted the man to sleep with her. So he can believe it was his baby. But since he was so loyal to Yah and to David and to Israel, that David sent him to the front of the battle and then had the men withdraw from him so the enemy can kill him just to cover his tracks. 
And that was so awful that a, car a carnal-minded religious person would have called him the devil. And from a carnal standpoint, that's understandable. But from a spiritual standpoint, there's forgiveness. It was awful what he did. That didn't stop Uriah from having his relationship with the Most High. And this place here is temporal. See, in eternity, Uriah was all right. From a natural standpoint, it stuck. But he left here in peace, and you couldn't pay him to leave the presence of the Most High for what David did. He, he's good. But now, the, the word says the Most High looked at David like he was a man after his own heart. Not when he did that. It was how he rebounded. He felt terrible. He wrote the Psalms. He felt terrible about, about what he did, and he should have. But there is rebound. Folks, change. The, the Most High is an agent of change. He gives people room to grow and to change. It's people that don't give each other room to grow and change. People remember and hold grudges and turn their nose up and, and, and I remember when and get the evil surmising and everything you do look funny to them and all that old satanic evil stuff that's not in the body. Every sin that a man committed is without the body. Yah's body don't work like that. Yahusha, y'all. Yahusha. Yah's salvation. The Mashiach's body don't work like that. It's religious people that work like that. So the perfect time for him to teach them this lesson is after Judas stabbed him while he was going to go put a contract. Exactly what he did, y'all. He, he, he answered a contract. There was a contract out on the Messiah and, and, and Judas went to go answer the contract. He got paid. Some money to, 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 there was a contract put out and Judas was the man to, to point him out. Why he was doing that, the, the, the Messiah had loved him and covered him so well the disciples didn't even know it was him. And then after he went to go fulfill the contract, the devil's hit on the Messiah. Him being the, 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 the hit man, he was on the hit man squad, got paid. The Mashiach said, a new commandment I give unto you. That you love one another. He didn't stop right there. Then he measured it as I have loved you. That you also love one another. Just like this. Just like I'm loving you. Covering y'all. Love covers a multitude of fault and sin. It don't expose it. That's hatred. Someone got a booger in their nose and you put it on Facebook. That's hatred. They don't even know it. You so jealous of them that you hurry them and get a picture of them with the booger in their nose because you're a hater. And you, and you post it. Love covers that. Pull them to the side. Hey, we finna take pictures. You gotta you, go fix your, go look in your mirror. You got something in your nose. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, woo, by this, I don't care for them too much. By this, then you ain't his disciple. That's all. Cool. At least you just expose yourself. No one had to expose you. You do it. By this, you can expose yourself to be his child. Let's be exposed to be the children of the Most High. How many of y'all down with this? By this shall all me, everybody. One thing I'm going to say, they show saved. They always just, just, just loving. You see how they treat them? But they still keep loving. Wow. You know they saved. By this shall all men know. Ain't no doubt about it. In closing, there, there was someone that um, slept with my former wife. 
that had AIDS. But you couldn't tell. Because I was still hanging with him. And nice to him. And praying for him. And praying with him. Her and I, her and I got divorced. And I still loved her too. <laughs> but you couldn't tell. Because by this shall all men know that you're my disciples. If you have love one to another. Y'all let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for another opportunity to come before you. Hummies, we know how um, gleaning in the truth of your word. Hmm. We need your love. We need your true love. In order for us to be forgiven, we got to be the type to forgive exemplifying the selflessness of your love, that you are willing to lay your life down for us, and we ought to learn to lay our life down for the brethren, that everyone is a keeper, everyone has a right to be saved. Everyone. Continue to be merciful, even to your children, as we press forward in you, we trust, believe, and thank you. In the Matthew's name, we shall have a see us when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all. That was the lesson for the day. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound. And that we continue to go forth as his disciples. And everybody shall know. I pray that you were blessed. If you were, push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Um, if you're a supporter of this ministry, we thank you. If you'd like to become a uh, a supporter of this ministry financially. All you got to do is get the cash app. If you have it, put in a dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. We thank you for that. And uh, if y'all want to talk about the word, y'all heard the word and want to talk about it, let's do that. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Thank y'all for hanging out. Albie Baruch and Brock Shalom. I'm gone.